Hey there, my name is Joey Randazzo. I am the owner of SEO Growth Partners based here in Portland, Oregon. And this video is gonna be all about the top four SEO mistakes that I see contractors making, whether you're in Portland or Seattle or Chicago, it doesn't matter. I see these mistakes happening over and over again. And so I wanna jump straight into this. So this screen here, you've you've seen it quite a lot, I'm sure. Um, it's, it's Google and it's Google local pack specifically. That's what this little section is called. People call it the Google map pack, Google local pack, Google three pack. And what I did is I searched for Portland contractors. And this is a search that uh, depending on what type of contractor you are, you know, if, if you're, if you're specialized, people might be searching for something a little bit different, but this is how people search again, whether you're in Portland or a, a different city. And one of the first things that shows up below all of these ads, the first organic SEO related thing that shows up is this Google local pack and data has shown that over 50% of initial actions happen here. If you were to do the search on your phone, you'd see something a little bit different. You still see the Google local pack, but instead of this, you would see a click to call icon. So just the, the phone icon where people can just click and call. Over 50% of initial actions happen here. So, you know, uh, uh, the data here is hundreds and hundreds of people. Uh, I think it's 520 people um, or so search for this exact keyword every single month, not best Portland contractors, not contractors in Portland, Oregon, but Portland contractors, over 500 people per month. And over 50% of those people are going to engage with, with, with these, um, these businesses first, these contractors first. So it's incredibly powerful to rank at the top of the pile here. And how do you do that? So the first mistake is that businesses don't, contractors don't create a comprehensive Google business profile. And each of these is a Google business profile. This is what Google pulls from on the back end of your Google business profile. And due to the, the data integrity of our, our contractor clients, we're not going to show a real back end of a Google business profile, but you can do a lot of things. You can change your business name. You can share when your business was open, 15 plus years in business, 15 plus years in business, 10 plus years in business. You can respond to all of these reviews. You can add custom services in the back end. You can add photos. You can, you can do a lot. And what we see is the first mistake is that contractors don't take time filling this out. If Google gives you the opportunity to add something to your Google business profile, you do it and you do it as comprehensively as possible. So if you have two photos in the back end of your Google business profile, as a contractor, you've probably taken photos before and after jobs or whatever it may be. You've probably got dozens, if not hundreds of potential photos that you can add to your Google business profile. And you think it might be silly to add 50 photos, but it gives Google more context and it makes your, your Google business profile more comprehensive. Same thing with your main description. If we were to click on this business here, mm -hmm. um, there is going to be a main mm -hmm. business uh, description. Um, and here it is. And so you can see they've written quite a bit. You get 750 characters in this, uh, in this description here. So if you've written one sentence uh, and you've only used 50 characters, that's what we mean. Go ahead and add 749 characters um, to that. So the next mistake is not adequately listing the services on your website as a contractor. So let's say, let's just use an example of you're a contractor that, that does decks. You specialize in decks. Do you do deck repairs? Do you do deck replacements? Do you do custom deck builds? Do you do deck builds for uh, you know, potentially larger spaces, um, maybe not just a home, but maybe there's an, uh, you know, a, a resident, uh, commercial space or a, a, an apartment type building that, that wants a very large, um, not your normal deck, all of these types of things. Um, do, do you do those things? And do you have specific pages on your website that speak to each of those, those, uh, those different services. So the best way to do this is whatever your business is, contractors.com as an example, the best thing to do is to have a page that's something like services. So on this services page, again, we'll stick with decks. You'll, you'll share every single thing that you do, you know, deck replacements, deck building, um, you know, all these different things. You'll list all of those on this services page, and then you'll have a secondary page beneath that for every single one of your services. So if you do repairs, you got a page for deck repairs. Um, and on that page, you share comprehensively what that means. 
we do deck repairs. We do them in Portland, Oregon. We're willing to travel up to 40 miles. Um, uh, here are the types of, of, of decks that we repair. Here are the types of decks that we do not repair. Um, if someone has like one chip in their railing, right? Do you do that or do you not do that? Is it a full deck repair? What does that mean? And so having all this content on your website is incredibly important because somebody might search for Portland contractors that specialize in decks repairs. And boom, we've got a Google local pack for this. This is a eight word query, but again, we're still getting a Google local pack, um, which is, in, you know, really, really important um, to rank here. So that's the second mistake. The third mistake is not creating content for your website. Um, and by content, we mean long form articles. So what are the main questions and queries that your target audience is asking about your contracting services? We'll stick with decks here. Are they asking how long it takes to build a deck? Are they asking if you can replace a deck in the winter time? Or can you build a deck in the winter time? Are they asking how much decks cost? Are they curious about the increase uh, prices and materials during COVID? This video is filmed in 2022 and we're seeing a um, January of 2022 and we're still seeing issues with the prices of, of, of materials. And so do they have questions about that? There are dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of questions and topics that you can create content about on your website. And what that does is it makes your website more authoritative to, to, you, uh, to Google. So now when people type in Portland contractors that specialize in deck repairs during the winter, um, uh, you know, you can potentially rank for this query. And we've got this one business that, that somehow is, is dominating the, the, what's called the knowledge panel over here. They're the ones that show up. Um, and so that's, that's a really valuable thing is the more content that you have on your website, Google's pulling from that content to determine who should rank. The final mistake, the fourth mistake is not having a repeatable process for SEO as a contractor. A lot of contractors will reach out and they'll say, Hey, I just want to do some one-time SEO stuff. And, uh, you know, I just want to dominate Google. And unfortunately that's not how it works. At the end of the day, you're competing with the other contractors in your city. Um, you, you've got the opportunity to, to rank at the top of the pile three businesses and there's likely dozens if not hundreds of contractors depending on what city you're in what are they doing are they getting 84 reviews 184 reviews 250 reviews are they writing an article every week on their website are they posting dozens of photos to the back end of their google business profile every month for every new project that they do at the end of the day that's what you're competing with and having a one-time SEO optimization to, to try to get to the top of the pile is just unfortunately not how Google's algorithm works. And it takes repeatable, consistent action that Google's going to reward over time. So if you're a contractor, um, keep that in mind. Uh, again, my name is Joey Randazzo. I'm the owner of SEO Growth Partners based here in Portland, Oregon. And we work with contractors, not just in Portland, but we're a digital business. We work with contractors all over the entire country. Thank you.